Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Mentor Smith Tips and today I am filming this little video tip outside in the back garden of my mum's house and it's absolutely beautiful and we live in Northern Ireland and it's not often that the sun's out and it's lovely and sunny and I wouldn't say it was warm because it's springtime but we are outside nonetheless and you can see my children playing in the background and it's Saturday here so we do pyjama day on a Saturday. Saturday, so the kids refuse to get out of their PJs and I've had to drag them outside and you can see them running around hopefully not saying rude things in the background and they're in their PJs and their wellies. So what are we going to talk about today? Well today's tip is about getting out of your comfort zone and putting in new habits and habits that benefit you and make you feel better about yourself and help you to accomplish your goals. So I want to talk about the illusion of things first. So if I took a nice photo of the scene that you see behind me and the sun's out and the children are playing in the background and you can see that there's a view of the sea and the garden is beautiful and yes all these things are true but the reality of the situation is that today is pyjama day and I've had to drag the children out of the house into the sunshine and they're probably sneaking up behind me to see what I'm doing and the fact is that they would rather be inside on pyjama day watching the TV and you know we really had to force ourselves out of our comfort zone just to come outside for a few minutes and you know get some fresh air and the fact is now that they're outside they're having a great time they're probably running around like idiots and they're you know getting some much needed vitamin D and I have no idea what they're doing behind me but I can hear them so I hope they're not pulling faces so let's talk about setting new habits and we're talking about content and over the last year I decided that I wanted to put more effort into my social media and my blogging and I didn't know how I was going to find the time to do that because I was already busy and you know where was I going to find the time to write, what was I going to write about and how was I going to fit that into my busy schedule. And then I decided, right, well, I'm going to have to make time. And how am I going to find the time? And how am I even going to commit to that time? So I decided that I would start by spending one hour every day. And I would do that first thing in the morning because I like to have a cup of tea and I like to sit down and I like to do something that's calming and quiet. And I thought, right, I'm going to spend an hour and I'm going to see what happens. And I had to work really hard at putting that hour into my schedule where I might have been doing something else. So I set aside the same time every day. I did it first thing in the morning and I started doing an hour. And it took a while, I have to say, it took a good couple of weeks for it really to start to be ingrained in my psyche. But then it started to become a habit and I actually enjoyed the hour every morning that I was spending writing and thinking. And I was getting inspired again because I was spending time looking through my collection of images and all the lovely pieces I've made. And then maybe I was writing about something and I had to go away and find some information about it. Maybe I was writing about a, a ring I made for a client and I needed to go away and find those client drawings so that I could mix the two things together. And I really began to enjoy that and it started to become a bit more of an obsession. And now a year on, I have to say that I probably spend a couple of hours every day doing my writing and my blogging. And I do that every day without fail and it's something that I really look forward to and I actually feel cheated if I don't spend the time doing that and it's really pushed my whole social media forward. I've worked really hard. I started with only concentrating on one or two platforms. Now for me, you know, all our businesses were probably different as to which of those are the most successful. But for me, that was Facebook and Instagram. And I have a much bigger following on Instagram with a lot more followers. 
but Facebook is still the platform that sends more people to my website so I wanted to concentrate on those two things and I, that's what I put in place for the year and I spent a year building up a plan of you know what I wanted those stories to look like and I, I started doing that visually on Instagram and then I started to send the feed the same feed initially to Facebook but then at the same time um, I, as those were growing, I began to add in the other platforms. And so now I do all of them. I do Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Google+. And now that I've started video, I'm going to be starting looking at YouTube. So my tip for today is to, you know, how are you going to put some plans in place and, and what do you want to do? And yes, you might have to get out of your comfort zone to do that. And you might have to find time. How are you going to find the time? And, you know, choose what you want to do. What social media platform are you going to work on? And just start. I mean, I say this all the time when I talk to people, the hardest part is starting. And don't worry if you don't have followers and you don't have any posts because we all have to start from zero and we just have to begin somewhere. And that's where I want to leave you today. So get out of your comfort zone, decide what you're doing, set yourself a new habit and it will become an obsession. And above all, have fun. So thanks guys for listening to this week's Mentor Smith Tips and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please make sure you comment below and like the video and if you're watching this on YouTube don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!